Hi guys, my name's Sam, I'm from Pioneer DJ and we're up at Bop DJ in Manchester and we're going to do a two-part video on Recordbox lighting mode. So a little brief introduction, um, the idea is you're going to buy the RB DMX1 box, this is a lighting interface, this is how um, Recordbox is going to talk to your lights here. Um, and you can do things like, you can allow your lights to just work on their own, so you don't really have to touch anything, really it's plug in and allow them to play along with the music you're playing. But you can also adapt the lights, which I will show you further on in the video, and you can also map your own shows. So let's dive straight into Recordbox here. So there's three types of Recordbox now. So you've got Recordbox Export Mode, which is the free music management service, Recordbox DJ, which will be working with the lighting. So you do have to purchase Recordbox DJ before you um, open your lighting mode. And then we, now we have Recordbox Lighting Mode, which you're seeing on the screen here. So when I open Recordbox Lighting Mode here, it says Fixture Library. Now this is the first viewing you're gonna have of the lighting mode. Up here we have Venue 1. You can have numerous amounts of venues depending on what you're gonna be doing with the lights. So let's say for example, you're a mobile DJ and you have three different venues. Each venue is a little different. When you walk up and turn up to the venue, you can pick which venue you'd like. Within each venue, you then have 512 DMX um, addresses to use. So each light must have a DMX address. This is the basics of lighting. And then you have to select channel mode on each light. So I've selected the maximum of channel modes on my moving head of my park amp, which means it allows me to do more with the light. And then I've also given them address. So for example, this is address 15. Now when I click my DMX channel here, that light's now turned on, just to say it's, you know, it's made the connection. And then the park on here is on address 27, and there it is here. So to get your lights in there, there's a little search function down here. You type the, the light in, so for example, let's say Pocket Pro, the ADJ light. Now when I press enter, it's automatically come up American DJ, Pocket Pro, 11 channel mode or 13 channel mode. So the channel mode again is how much you can get out of a light. All you then do is just drag and drop into the DMX address that you've given that light. So for example, 15, you then drag it onto channel 15. Okay, so that is the uh, fixture library. Now, of course, you can have up to, let's say, let's say we had 20 lights joined in the chain here. Um, you know, and each one can then be given a, a channel mode and you can address them here to say moving head one or two, park on one, two, etc. Moving forward, we've then got the macro mapping. Now you'll notice my lights have just moved and turned off. This means it's allowing me to select from three separate scenes. So you've got high, mid, and low. So high will have more um, out of your lights, mid will have the mid range, and low will have uh, less out of your lights. Each scene here has a phrase, if you will. So let's say we go high and cool. You've then got more options. Then all you're going to do is drag and drop our preset scenes within to the cool uh, or natural or hot, whichever scene you'd like, into here. And then when you go dive into the selected um, scenes that we've we pre-mapped for you, you will see all these are all ready for you to go. Now this is when it goes into auto mode. However, you can dive in here and change the scene as you, as you will. You know, you select your favourite scenes. You want to change a few things you can do that within the, uh, the macro mapping. So all these scenes here are very important because on the second part of this video, I'm gonna fire off the scenes by mapping them to my controller or my XP1 controller here, allowing me to change scenes uh, literally just at the touch of a button to really change your lighting mode up if you're, if you're gonna go to a different genre of music. Then we could go to the macro editor. So the editor allows you to edit tracks so let's say, for example, you're a mobile DJ and you've got a wedding coming up. The bride will have already given you the first dance. Now, before the wedding, you can play this first dance within the macro editor. And as you scroll through, as we scroll through our wavelength here, you'll notice I've mapped a few things here myself. Say, for example, you wanted to do a little stroll within this part here. We go here. And I click the strobe function, click OK, save. When I press play, the light will then start strobing. I'm not going to do this yet because I want you to see it when I do it live. But this is really cool for the macro editor. Now, when you scroll forward, the light's going to do different things. This park end is going to be turning on and off. 
my moving head is forever going to be moving. And I think it's a really cool feature. The track I'm going to be using is Block Rocking Beats, classic. After this first video, we'll go into the second video and I'll really show you how these lights are going to work on a live function. Another thing to mention within the lighting is a lot of people are asking me how is it working out where it is in the track to start triggering strobes, triggering moving heads, etc. So now going after the lighting mode, if we go into performance mode, now you're going to see here is where you sort of your scenes. If I click my light in here, this is where you see your scenes, and then you've got a nice little uh, sort of sort of secondary um, way of looking at things here. If I click auto, these lights will then go automatically go to my track. And how they're going to do that is you analyze your track within phrase mode as well. So if I go to a track here, I go to analyze track. Previously, you were analyzing on BPM and key. Now we've added phrase. If I click phrase and OK, you're then going to get a little waveform here. And that allows lighting to work out what's going on with the track. So the build up, the breakdown, the chorus, second chorus, anything like that. And that's how the lights will automatically start moving and creating a show for you without you having even to touch anything. So let's move to the second video where I'm going to dive into showing you how to move your scenes and patterns onto some of the pad modes so you can fire it off on the fly.